and Hugh Bannerman, and welcome back to another episode of Mountain Blade Banner Lord as we get into the campaigns of the House of Lego. And, uh, well, we're currently doing a bit of a bandit tour. We're going around to everybody's places and murdering all of their bandits because this is nice. Do you have a castle or city? We have two castles at the moment, supported by four towns. Uh, so it's fun. We're waiting for a city to show up. And then things. When we finally finish our little bandit tour and finally get back to Home Sweet Landia. Uh, we will then probably go on a... Probably see if we can't influence people to go to war. Because by then we'll have saved up enough influence, I think. Although I really want to get rid of serfdom, because serfdom is so dumb. Seriously, serfdom is the worst policy ever. I have no idea why they decided to vote for something that was going to make them poor. All it gave them was a little security. I'm still very put out about the fact they did that, because my castles were starting to make money and now they don't. Where are you? Are they all action free? You know, I could do way better just straight up battling you. Oh, wow, you're just missing me the wall. Good job. Have you met my friends? That worked out very well. Uh, that probably goes nowhere. Actually, no, there's like one dude that hangs out here, isn't there? He's like all the way down the path and around the corner. Uh, apparently today it's like five of them. You killed a Vanian sharpshooter. Oh. Oh, that's, that's not, that's not bit acceptable at all. Vanian sharpshooters are my favorite troops and I'm very, very angry at you know. I meant pretty much. The reverse of this is the vanilla game where you get five guys that come with you, or what, what was it, like ten guys that come with you? to take on like 40 people. It's like, really? This is what you consider to be fair? So, and you don't even get to choose which guys come with you. Eight guys. Did you just call me a dog? There we go. Somebody sold us so That's the guy we normally miss. Okay, find that other group. We'll work together. I'll cover you, man. There you go. I still want to use more crossbows, but I can't use a crossbow on a horse and reload it, which is annoyingly dumb. Yes, my snipers. Three guys. Put that away so we can get ready with the death stick. Warm it up. Yep. Uh, cheek that guy calling you a dog. We all know Sparrow's one the dog for some. And he would defend himself if he were here, but he's not. I think someone's about to get into a fight. Let's see, a Bedouin rover killed by my Batanian- Oh, don't- Oh, shit. Killed my Batanian high highborn youth. I can't get more of those. Not without, you know, going to war with Batania again. And another sharpshooter? Really? This is expensive. <laughs> Alright, let me kill you. Come out so that we may kill you. Oh, you blocked it! Ow. Give me room! Won't give me room. There we go. Jesus. I see we're back in the desert again. Yep. Blocking stabs are the hardest to do. We won. Took a lot of damage, but we won. I shouldn't take these battles anywhere. Alright, uh, caravan guards wouldn't be a terrible addition, but what I. Ooh. Could pick up a caravan master. Give me another pr prisoner so I can, you know, throw him in jail. But they don't go anywhere, that's the problem. <laughs> They're like nice to have. Could use more bowmen. Several wounded. Oh, did I lose my Okay, good. My Batanian Highborn youth lived. That's important to me. 
I really don't want to pay any of you. That's kind of the problem. Thank you because you're top tier. I'll thank you because you're top tier. And you because you're top tier cavalry. Uh, the rest of you can go find your own way home. Okay, some uh, some horses. Make good boots. No. We'll sell it. We'll make a little bit of money. We'll earn it back. And the nearby houses. Houses? Nearby villages like us more. Alright. Hi, Talos. Didn't I just run into Talos? Hurry. Swords. Uh, Falchions, tier 4. None of that's useful. Makes you feel. Yeah, no thanks. And also, no thanks. I have a way better shield than what anything you've got. All of these suck. Um, somebody might need a cape, but I don't think so. Moon the Knowing might need one. No, he's already got it. Other shoulder pads. There we go. And I think we're all good. I think 14 or something is my bottom body armor level. Should be good on that. Oh, these are lighter. Enjoy. So our bottom level gloves is now nine. Lovely. That. Of collecting harnesses at this point, geez. All these light harnesses, the crappy ones, the worn light harnesses. Holy shoot, that's a lot of harnesses. Tanian, raid. Okay, if you're not, there we go. Is there 13 and 15? I mean, I'm not using harnesses at the moment, but. If we were to turn around and oh my god, that cheese is worth a hundred and seventeen. Well, sir, selling all that. Iron ore seventy four. The furs are starting to get up there. It's not the two hundred that I'm waiting for, but they're starting to get up there. Cha Ching. See if we can overrule Surfrol. I want to go to war. <laughs> so I would have to spend my influence to do that. I'd rather go to war, and it's going to take all of my influence to convince enough tribes to actually join me. Where is next city? Oh, it's Sanala. Doesn't Sanala have really cheap fish? I think I remember that. Bendy cheese, yes. Make all the money. All the cash in the verb. Ride back home. Sprague's been bugging me to play uh, Pulsar a lot lately. I'm not sure I want to switch over to doing because I do enjoy playing this. Uh, most of the SR have cheap fish. By living by the sea. How much are your fish? Fish are 11, but your grain is 8. Holy God. I'm about to buy a lot more grain, because grain does not spoil. And I have a lot of gold. You. Right. And I have, you know, so many horses that it's fine. Oh, uh, the Desert Bandit boss doesn't want to join me yet. I'm actually building a fairly nice cavalry force of people after I, you know, join them on. Oh, yeah, I forgot to check. Hey, there's a tournament. And I'll be at 61% health. Because all that beer you keep making. Oh, God. No, not this one. I didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. The desert melee. Everybody on horseback rushing around as fast as they can. Poke. Got you. Poke. Oh, I do not want to be here. There's too many reds. You guys can enjoy. I'm just going to continue skirmishing around. Maybe killing any javelinier I can find. Because javelinier's suck. Because they can instant kill you. Hi, Chanion. Hi, Chanion. These short spears on horseback are ridiculous. Why would we give these to people to fight with? Hi, Jandian! Bye, Jandian! Jandian knocking down my teammate's horse. That's not cool. Jandian will probably win this fight. So let me go in and interfere with that. But make sure that doesn't happen. There you go. Now you can't run away. Enjoy. Oh no, they're all ganging up on my blue team. 
I've made a critical mistake. There we go. That's another one of my people, you can tell by the shoulders. There we go. Aha! It's 3v2. And I'm on horseback. Not that I need to be on horseback. In fact, being on horseback is probably a detriment to me actually getting anything. There we go. Mano y mano. Oh, that was a full-on combo right there. Can't help but feel like something went drastically wrong. I'm just gonna back off and let them fight it out. Okay, there's too many red people. I'm gonna go save the yellow. Come on, Mata, you can take him, right? Go for it. See? I believed in her. Oh, he's an ice cape. I want an ice cape like that. Better a short spear than a sword or a mace. Yeah, but I look cooler with a sword. Uh, we are both a mace, though. Maces are dumb. I'm not saying they're dumb as an actual, you know, useful weapon. I'm saying they're dumb as they look stupid. Sergian Berserker, I carried him all this way. I'm going to regret having Red win that match. Block, swing. He's not very good at this old block thing, but he is really good at that hit thing. I'm really low on health, so I kind of can't afford to just play with him. So. Come on. Yeah. Poke the sword. There we go. Alright, what, what was I playing for? Oh, a southern heavy mace. Ugh. I hate maces. Maces are dumb. They're useful weapons, but they're dumb. Red. A southern heavy mace. It's a weapon tier 4. I have like one person who uses a mace, and it's you. And it's inferior to that mace. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Because it's not useful. Oh, how much are your horses here? <laughs> 274. No. Go soak your head. I'm not spending that much. Alright, off we go on to God, what's the next city? Oh, we're all the way up to Quayas already. Nice! We've almost finished our tour of the Southern Territories. So we've made a lot of friends. We've made about 10,000 gold also. Well, I mean more than that if you include the entire trip. The entire trip we've made like 25,000 gold. It's great. But... We're still losing money. Wait, what? Hello, Lagola. Welcome to the stream. I'm assuming that's a way of saying hi as well. Red, what you got? How much are your horses? Still too expensive. I'm not spending that much on horses. You can go away. Arena! No fight. Alright, so really there's almost nothing for us to do here. Uh, what do you what do you have? Eh, not as cheap fish as the other town. Sonala is really like the best place if you want food. It's like here, you can have it for nothing. Hides is tempting, but I have fur. I'm not selling my fur for anyone. You can go away. And we shall. Oh, we're almost to, we're almost back to home sweet Valandia. And then, you know, it's a trip all the way across the continent to get to our castles. <laughs> our castles at the northernmost tip of the main continent, minus Sturgia. But we have more than enough food for this. 81 days, apparently. I don't know. Yeah, that works. Might as well. Seven gold, because... Because the game doesn't like me. That's not true. The game loves us. Hey, it's the... Lucon has signed a declaration of war against Vlandia. Oh. I mean, now I don't need to spend influence on war. <laughs> we're at war. Okay, so we're going to be needed. Uh, we're going to join this tournament because I'm going to get things rolling. And then we're going to head north. We may get Spurg back. I'm not sure about that. 26, sure. Ah, the Grand Melee. I mean, it's not the total Grand Melee. I don't think any, any faction does a total Grand Melee. Even though it should. Just 1v1v1v1v1. 
and only the top eight make it to the next bracket phase. Oh, it's Chosen Wolf. Kill Green! Ow. Hi, Green. How you doing? Ow. I should not have done that. Oh, the barrel chest is here. That's that's pretty funny, actually. Oh, crap. I'm the, I'm the javelin guy. <laughs> oh, I shot my own dude in the back. I was, like, carefully aiming it and getting it ready to hit this guy as he came by on horseback. And that just did not work. Oh, shit. Mata, go away. Mata, you're fired. <laughs> oh, that was not the plan. <laughs> I have no idea how that happened. Dang, he's on the scene. <laughs> when they got revenge, they did. We lost. But hey, that was that worked out pretty good. Okay, I've got to head back to Blandian territory. Uh, as much as I would love to play games with you. Thank you, Randa, for the bits. <laughs> we have to get back north because my city oh god Mazadan Castle is gonna be nearly impossible to keep uh, by nearly impossible I mean we're gonna lose Mazadan Castle there there's no getting around that uh, take me to Benruth I should go by way of Legata just in case there's a tournament theoretically I might not kill somebody are we at war at the moment me and you because you drastically outgunned me do you have the Brotherhoods of the Woods? I don't know, that's who you're at war with. Who are your allies? Oh, you're just at war with everybody. We are at war with the Brotherhood of the Woods. That's not good. Um. Yeah. He's got me outgunned pretty badly. Luckily, I'm way faster than he is by virtue of having literally all the horses. I'm just gonna slip on away from him. Nice and careful. He's read your enemies. Yeah, but I've been in a situation where I've I've been at war with somebody who was a minor faction, and because I wasn't at war with their major faction, it was considered to be perfectly fine. Uh ooh, ooh, Sergio has also declared war on us. Mazadan Castle shall surely fall. Looks like it's all kicking off again. Oh boy. Is it me or is the stream stuttery? Uh, hopefully just you. But no promises. Let's do this right. Let's not shoot our own people in the back. Ooh, Imperial Shores. It's a good ally. Yeah! Yeah! Zoros the Surgeon is dead, and this time he was indeed enemy. Good. Yeah! Whoops, missed. See, that's what I hate about spear combat on horseback. Because it's like... Oh, you got it. You got him. You did not have him. But I appreciate you for trying. Gotcha! I mean, the wrong target, but I still got you. Yeah, that worked out. Join. Oh, great, I'm the bowman. Oh, that. That was beautiful. Okay, that was less beautiful, but... I picked him clean off. Take care of him. Janine, you've got this, right? Janine did not have this. But I did. True American less friendly. <laughs> hey, it worked out, didn't it? You can't complain about it, because it worked. Oh, Lysica's here. What are you doing here? And why, why is my partner, who's supposed to be, you know, helping me in this fight, currently being dumb? I don't think I can win against her, because both of these people are actually really high level warriors. And all I've got is a simple shield. And Chandian can somehow get around my shield on occasion, which is not, not fun.
I just want Champion gone so I don't have to keep running away from him. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, Champion's dead. I came close. <sighs> Better a bowman than a javelin here. That, that was pretty close. I came close to that one. Still annoying. But I got pretty damn close. Uh, this was a really good match. <laughs> It was a good match. I did fight well. I'm not not ashamed to say that. But at the same time, oh, that was frustrating. I had it almost. It's like no shield. Good luck. Enjoy. All right. Oh shit! I didn't want to do that. I wanted to read. Uh, increase your swifts, your swing speed by four and five percent. Infantry in the formation leading increase their swing speed by five percent or by two percent. Increase your thrust damage by ten percent. Yeah. I use bladed pull arms, so swing speed is way more important than that. All right, into Mar Maroonth. Kind of makes wish that I hired more bandits. Oh, how fast is the ironmonger? So I can't run him down. Because at the end of the day, I'm pretty friggin' fast, boy. No, he disappeared. Okay. Baronanth. Um, come over here. 23 gold! Hey, we made some. My village is about to be attacked, and we all know it. Uh, okay. I was about to say back to the good tournaments, but there is no tournament to be had here. Made a horrible snake, found a packet of sweets, ate them after a taste of soap. So, so you're telling me you just ate soap? You may not want to do that. Say on. We're on the way there next. I'm a little bit surprised that nobody's foreign in army. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Foreign is under attack. Yeah, Mazadin's about to be destroyed. Ooh, Caravan of the Steward. How fast do you move? You move 5.6? I move 5.7! Shall not get away. I mean, you're in town now, so there's kind of that. But I'm gonna jump on you the moment you leave town. Good troops. I'm gonna need some troops. Let us form the Grand Armée. I don't wanna hire you. There you go. Rummies and raiders, and even a couple of bosses, dear God. My cavalry just became so much more dangerous. Who would like to leave? Come on. I'm gonna wait for you. Got two caravans trapped inside this town. I'm now minus 488 on gold, but I knew I was gonna do that. Leave the bloody village. Come on. Apparently my relation has... Oh yeah, because they defeated it. Size of 98. Even at my best I could not defeat that. Good, I'm done waiting for you. Alright, to the north! See if I can't do something with Mazadan Castle. I kind of doubt it. Oh, there you are. You were waiting for me. Are you gonna go back into town? Can you go back into town? Hi, I'm faster than you. Greetings. Uh, hello, Quajibo. I don't think they will leave when you're outside. Yeah. They're smart enough to not leave. Uh, hand over your goods or die. So be it. We must attack. 
I'm not letting these people get away. 40 versus 88. We can take them. I believe in it. Arfords! It's my cavalry. <laughs> oh god, that's lovely. I have not. Mountain archers! I have not seen Infantry my cavalry before. After me! So I'm really proud, actually, Hold to see it. Fire and um, get back here me. before you get killed. I have. I think I can. I think I can classify that as a host. Would you think this is a host? This looks like a host to me. Uh, follow you until you get close and then attack him. This will be awesome. <laughs> I see your cavalry! Oh, you, have, you blocked it. Don't block. Alright, cavalry, at them! Ow. I think a javelin. There we go. Surging caravan guard, dead. Doing a little bit of combat out here. Hello there! Your horse is still standing, which is rather impressive. Yeah. Yeah. All right, do attack. Oh, I think we've won quite well. Where are they? Is this one? Oh, there's 20 more of them off in that direction. That's my people. Never mind. Two more people on horseback. Ah, oh, Selene the Swift went down. You bastards. Don't know how I missed that, but okay. Yeah, we've got them pretty much surrounded at this point. Beautiful. We lost three people. Beautiful enemy infantry that will watch your cow for the rest of the infantry. I shall take you all as prisoners, and I will use you to buff my host when the time comes. Hmm. Why were you transporting? Just it looks like various odds and ends at this point. Fish, some. I mean, I'm taking it all, but. Not really all that impressed with what you were transporting. Alright, so we've managed to assault the Sturgeons. I shall continue to assault the Sturgeons. I don't think I, if I can catch you. 5.8, I'm 5.7 now. I have slowed down. My castle is under siege, yes, I understand this. 6.0 speed, whoa! That's some speed right there. Back to sunny and we'll drop these, uh... Drop some things off. We get some more horses, I don't know. Uh, Batanian ponies are cheap as all hell, and they increase my speed. Sure, I can spend that much. Uh, let's send, sell some junk. No, that's good. No, that's good. I have better. Uh, I already have better gloves, and I have better boots. So yeah, so all that. So all the shields, because shields are not useful to me. I mean, they're useful for me specifically, but not anybody else. A lot of bows, okay. Splintered barbed arrow, I do not need. Splinter arrows, I do not need. And ranged arrows, which are interesting, but I don't really need them either. And I can get rid of all that. Lovely. Did you know Hans Davian went about it until 17? Ah, interesting. All right, so I will get a thousand gold despite buying 37 horses. Party speed, I'm not sure that's accurate anymore. Because I have, you know, 37 more horses. One would anticipate that I'd be a little bit faster now. For troops, uh, let's, let's not actually. Let's try and keep a fast, nimble, aggressive raiding force. And a tournament in Sunion. I think the only way to get better armor at this point is by facing an actual army and getting the good stuff. Yep, that's the plan. 
Ah, Batadian tournament. It's gonna happen. Oh, it's it's gonna be fun. Bear pelt. Oh, bear pelt is nice. Yeah! Oh, hi. We're doing it this way today, huh? Ah! Oh. Yeah! Yeah! You. Oh. There we go. <sighs> oh, is this gonna be an archer battle? No, it's not. It's, it's a half battle. Another point blank range. You're dead. Aha, you can't hit me. I appreciate your spunk, kid, but let's be honest. Axe, you don't have it. Shoot. Oh, there you are. Gotcha. Easy peasy. That was easy. Uh, that's what happens when you do a Batanian tournament at point-blank range. <laughs> Sadly, only shields can black arrows. Well, someday I will be able to cut them out of the air. All right, let's see who's getting this bear pelt. Is it going to be me? I kind of don't think so. Because I already have bear pelts. Literally the same thing. Dandian also has bear pelt. Mata does not have bear pelt. But has a pretty good cook. Thoros is not a warrior. Tamun, the knowing, is not a warrior. You are a warrior. You have slightly less good shoulder armor. So Loon the Swift. There you go. Enjoy. I believe your cape is probably better than any other armor that anybody or is worse than any other shoulders than anybody else has. Fine, Zoros has. Oh no, Zoros had a terrible cape. Tamun the Knowing has slightly better collar like a device there we go get 83 gold lovely tournament one we shall ride against the cavern of nortos the brewer charge him with everything i've got yeah i know my village is being ready there's nothing i can do about it holy shit you're fast like there's really no way i can stop this the forces that have no doubt assembled against mazadon castle are uh, grand. Come back, are you? You're sturging. You shouldn't be all that fast. Should outrun you. Quack, quack, quack. I got you. There. Bear of and shiny metal is becoming your uniform. <laughs> it does pretty well, doesn't it? Hand over your goods or die. Attack. It's working out. I'm liking it. All right, so, um, infantry! three and four on me, infantry! one, Archers! and two, Close in! advance. Yeah. All right, come with me, my host. They have four cavalry. No, they have eight cavalry in total. Oh, but they have the river at their backs. That's pretty clever of them. If you lose a castle, you lose a castle, join the army and hope to take city. Pretty much. I'm not going to be super too worried about it, but it is going to be somewhat sad. Because, you know. Yeah! I like having that castle. It's cool. It makes me feel relevant. Having multiple castles. Yeah! Alright, don't stop. Yes, my host, ride through them. Destroy their cavalry, and we'll have them at range. But whatever you do, don't get caught out of that guy. Okay, cavalry mopped up. Next thing, slam the archer line. Oh, that's why. Hit them, guys. Come on, attack. You can do it. I believe in you. Like that. Are you trying to run? No, 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 no. You're trying to steal my castle, man. You don't get to run. Oh. 
Is there any other force? Apparently there's 20 friendly archers and oh, my infantry is currently fighting two cavalry. Let's go right to the raid. Somehow my infantry is struggling with him. I think I take Jackie Chan. Wait, what? Eventually they'll have a Stephen Chow monk tech class. I would be on board with a monk class that used just fists. Whoa! What does that happen to you? Hey, you leave his horse alone. Oh, you pig! He leaves me alone. Who's left? One cavalry on no. infantry versus my 21 infantry. Okay. We got it, right? Let me flee? Which direction are they going? Well, I know which direction they went, so. See if I can't find anymore. Oh, there we go. Uh, this constitutes war crimes since these are traitors. Um, they're traitors for the comp for the people who are invading my castle. Hi, would you like to join my forces? My glorious, wonderful forces? They swell every day with your ranks. Uh, Splinter Step Bow, my bow is better. Running for caps. Ooh, gloves. So, do you have any good, like, equipment? Eight on gloves, nine gloves, it's not good enough. And, yeah, no, that's good enough. I mean, we're going to keep it so we can sell it at a later location. Hi. Just surrender, boy. Um, I want everything you've got. You are my prisoners now. Woo. More stuff. Oh, this is great. The neutral won't stand for the destruction of its caravans? Continue. Neutral of the neutral has signed a declaration of war against Vlandia? What? You were flying a Sturgeon flag. I don't get where they're trying to claim that they're neutral, because they sure as hell ain't neutral. Because I am at war with Sturgeon, right? Let's double check that. Yeah, I'm at war with Sturgeon. Wants to be a bug? Which is just gonna be friends, welcome to the team. Uh, let's see, take hostile action. Raid the village! Uh, yeah, you're 15 village men versus my 69 hardly trained, highly trained troops. I'll take it. Attack! Go! Get him. Get him, boys. No, I'm not gonna leave this attack. You lost influence? Yeah, so when you declare war for a faction without going through the normal procedures, it taxes you 300, uh, 300 influence. So, because apparently this neutral faction now exists, and I've never heard of them before, uh, I am now docked 300 influence for doing that, so now I'm at negative 89. We'll get back up eventually, but I'm really not happy about it. Go my cavalry. Murder. You killed my nomad. Shit. You jerks. All of you. You jerks. Yeah, okay, we've taken care of most of that. I have no idea where the enemy is at this point. Oh, there's the enemy. Oh, there's the enemy in space. Hi, infantry. Thank you for showing up. So where is all this fire coming from? I really can't fight effectively in this, but that's okay. Ah, oh, one dead, and it was my nomad man. Goodbye, nomad bandit. We hardly need you. Can we influenced by slaughtering innocent villagers? Pretty much. That's how you do it. Uh, how many over the limit am I? Oh, yeah, I'll get rid of, what, two militiamen? Sure, why not? No, I'll get rid of a watchman and a militiaman. It's the bottom tier. Okay, you may leave. In the meantime, I'm going to raid everything in your village. Raid, raid, raid. Raiding time! Do 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 do
Uh, Le Col of the Northern Empire has declared peace with the Aserai. That's adorable. Yeah, they take Mazadin. Oh, that's a lot of people. Oh, that's a big army. Villagers of Ismulorg. We just caravan of a brewer. Village raided. Lovely. I have lost 30 mercy. So I've not been merciful. Alright, uh, let's. Can't level you up. What about the Harami? Can't level you up. Bedouins? Uh, what can I do with the Bedouins? I can turn them into Pharisees. Making them nomad bandits. They need highborn youth. And then help the highbornness. The highwaymen are fine. Sturgeon archers become veteran archers. Sturgeon soldiers. I think I always want to go right down. Uh, yes, I'm an Ufender. Shock troops are cool too, but I want Ufender. Berserker becomes Ufender. And the hardened brigands. Lanian infantry will always go right path because we want a veteran sergeant. Except for the Lanians that I want to send left path to get that sharpshooter. Your extremes are your friends here. Uh, what he attack? No, he's at war with Sturgeon. Uh, it's winter, what are the odds anyone needs these supplies? <laughs> See, now you're thinking with gas. Alright, so that's good. Let's swell our ranks. Uh, I can get all of these. How many can my host handle? 137. So let's undo that and figure out the best ones. So I want the veteran cavern guards. Cavern? Caravan guards. So I can have that. And then... I do want these guys, okay. Armed traders would give me even more bow. Nomad bandit to replace the nomad bandit who died. What am I up to? Uh, I am up to 100 at the moment. It's 117. This is going to slow down my army considerably. Maybe I don't want to do that. Because I'm about to attack a couple of caravans. Which I don't need to be at full for. But I am going to need the speed. My lord, I wish to discuss. Villages, you don't like it. As your leader, I decide the best course of action because that's my job. Uh, Cameron gave me a... You're moving at 5.6, you are moving at 5.2, and I'm moving at 4.2 because I have a whole bunch of people. So there's no way I catch any of you. Okay. Let us return to Senion and perhaps Carbaseth. I mean, my next town is about to be raided, so... There is that. Arthmund! How are you doing? I would build an army with you, but apparently I'm at maximum negative reputation. Ingilthar has created an army around and sunk. So that's a bit of a trip. Good trade. I have a whole bunch of equipment now. Weapons. Uh, ooh. Actually... Right. Most of my two-handed... Most of the people that I currently have with Volgs are actually supposed to be two-handed weapon warriors. How does it make sense that soldiers are slower than prisoners? Is it organized? Hmm. I haven't put much thought into it. Uh, okay, so Saloon needs an axe. As does Anjiki. And Chandian does as well. So Saloon, Anjiki, so my Sue Swifts. And Chandian need axes. Okay. Because Chandian does not actually use a Volk. Because that's a polearm and it doesn't actually give him any benefits for it. Oh, damn it. Never mind. It's all... It's all one-handed axes. Never mind. That was all wasted. Reinforced cavalry bow? Shield? Yeah, I've got a better one. Ranger bow? I've got a better one. Step bow? I've got a better one. Hunting bow, our bottom tier, I don't need them. Tier 2, tier 4, tier 6. I don't need any of those. Ooh. That is an expensive bow. Holy shit. It's inferior to what I've got, but wow. 
I need to give that to somebody who actually can make use of it. Hang on, what am, who, who's my best archer as a backup? Saloon's a 135, as is Anjiki. So, so both of my Swiss are great archers. Alright, so let, let's give them both bows so they can actually do things properly. I don't think it's just, it does now that many wounded. Yeah, I got 10 wounded at the moment. I did make my force much larger than it used to be. Alright, well, let's give my Swifts. Oh, because I have two of the heavy recurve bows. Oh, really nice. I have a heavy recurve. Okay. We'll arrange you like that. And you may have barb arrows. And Jiggy, no, that's Timon. I need Saloon. And I will give you. Bog down there. Barbed arrows. Heavy recurve bow. And now I also can't lose it. That's the other great advantage of doing that. Perhaps I shouldn't have sold my shields because she does need one, technically. There you go. You can be part of my, of my bow people. But you'll be fine with that. Keep the book. All right. Get rid of the rest of your saber. Uh, we're good on arrows. Ranged arrows are tier three. They stack pretty well. They have a single pierce, which makes them better than barbed arrows. Now that I actually you know, pay attention to what I'm doing. He, yep, they gave you more. And saloon. You can also have ranged arrows. Um, can you rush fine. I'll take a second so and you can hang out with my archers. I'll have to make sure that I set them up as archers. Alright, uh, 17. I believe, yeah, all my hats are above 20, so I don't need any of those. And 10 is below my bottom of the barrel. For armor. And I believe everybody's at 9 or better gloves. But these are lighter gloves. There we go. These leather gloves are quite nice for their weight. Again, lighter gloves. So we can actually upgrade them a little bit doing that. My gloves are gauntlets, so I don't need them. You just flat out have better. You flat out have better. Flat out have better as well. And Zeros flat out has better. Which means we're good on those. And I'm, above, I'm at 16 armor for my shoes, so I don't need any of that. You can get rid of all that. Uh, more horses. Fewer problems. Anything especially valuable. Leather is valuable. For that. Cows are valuable. To an absurd degree. And then beer is valuable, but I'm going to keep it. Because, you know, beer. I need to figure out who needs to be on horseback now. Because now that we're, you know, back at war, we actually have to, like, set things up again. So who are good riders? Chandian's a good rider, and that's it, literally. It's only Chandian. <laughs> really? Okay, so if Chandian's my only good rider, he's the only one that needs to get on horseback, so let's give him a horse. Chandian, I shall give you... Asurai horse. No saddle? No, I shall give you a saddle. A Batadian war saddle. Uh, a noble north saddle, because it's just as good and weighs less. Lovely. Now we're going to check through and make sure that there's no superior horses. It's a tier 4 horse. We are good. We have over 100 horses in this band right now. So you attacked a bunch of neutrals, did you? Was it that made you attack them? You lost for gold power just <laughs> Don't think it's due to wooden chairs, it doesn't. Uh, they need to fix the negative color. It's very hard to read. The negative color? That means. All right, so Chandian will now be on horseback. He has the Volg to go with it. Um, I should check Chandian's bow capability to see if I should give him one. Chandian the Silent. Chandian kind of sucks with bows. Um, I'm going to give him one just because he's now on horseback. And that's what you do to people who are now on horseback. And he doesn't have a need for anything else. Unfortunately, the only bow I have, he can't use. 
get some barbed arrows and we'll buy him a bow. We'll buy him a nice simple bow. Something that he can use whenever he needs. You make him ride a mule, the faster boys kills you for dirties. He actually doesn't kill us very often anymore, so we're getting better on that. Uh, but he does take take fight with me quite often. Use that bow, you can... Oh, that's me. I can, of course, use that bow. I'd love to give him a longbow, but unfortunately you can't reload a longbow, on, or you can't use a longbow on horseback. Give you a mounted hunting bow. Better than the hunting bow, right? Uh, does slightly less pierce. You have a recurve bow, speed 86, speed 87, 45 pierce, 46 pierce. Ranger bow is 42 pierce. Ooh. So really it's just a matter of style. Okay, we'll give you the step bow because it's way cooler looking. And that'll set Jandian up for whatever he's doing. We have 53, well, 52.1 thousand gold now. So that's lovely. All right, go to Tavern District. Anybody who's not hard chevron can go away. You are hard chevron. You need to prove to me that you're worth hanging around. Is it arm traders? No. Imperial arm traders? No. Oh, the caravan guards are all like, yes, can we please join you, boss? I'm like, maybe. All right. I'm going to keep the arm traders because that's 17 arrows that I can just immediately pick up. So that's that's reasonable to me. It's gonna take us a hundred and something days to to improve our influence doing this. Okay. Taking care of the arena, we've taken care of trade. We have not up leveled up people, but that's fine. I have so much gold. I'm just gonna check the see if there's any like really good armor or something that I need. I'm already good on my weapon. I'm perfectly happy with the long glaive. It's working out pretty well, except when I get into close close quarters one-on-one -on -one combat. Then it becomes a problem. But I'm on horseback most of the time anyway. So I don't need like fine cavalry broadswords or a northern broad axe. I can afford it too. Oh my god. I've never had this much money before. <laughs> never. So it's a bit of a new experience for me. Alright. Show me your best bow. Step recurve bow. I'm already using one. I have a cracked stacked recurve bow, but there's no negative compared to the normal one. Interesting. So I I don't even need that. So I have a great bow. That's lovely. Um, really good arrows. Bodkins might be it. Piercing arrows for pierce stack twenty three. I mean, they cost 10,000 gold. I have slightly fewer of them, but apparently it's... Oh. Uh, if you want an axe, you want the execution axe or the heavy version of it. <laughs> That's tempting. I mean, they're really expensive, but I will get use out of them. A plus four piercing off of it. Take Salin, and I can take away one of her ranged arrows to give the western arrows. Then I can go over to Chandian, and I can take away his barbed arrows. Give him ranged arrows. That'll work. I'm gonna pay a lot of money for it, but I have a lot of money, so... May as well, right? Okay, so we lost Mazadin Castle. We knew that was gonna happen. Nivyansk is next on the list, and we all know it. And there's probably no saving it. Caravan of Nortos the Brewer, Faction Northern Empire, I'm engaging you. I move faster than I do, I'm not happy about it. There we go. We're just gonna raid caravans all day. Hand over your goods or die. So be it, attack. Maybe you should try and suck less. Thermos? Is that legitimately Thermos? Really? We're, we're definitely trying, but Thermos, is that really you? Holy shit. It has been a long time. Possible. <laughs> well, it is Thermos. Holy shit. How you been, man? It has been well. He's not that bad? Nah, it's it's, it's fine. All right, uh, let's go get my host wherever the hell... There it is. So. Infantry! Horse archers! Uh, 
Come, follow, follow me. me. You people, Moving. start your steady advance. Yeah. All right, this is actually legitimately difficult to take care of, I suppose, because we're not that far outnumbering it. So I will slow down a bit so my people can actually keep up with my great horse. So we're going to steadily ride on into battle. Looks like he doesn't have a river at his back, which is nice. Unlike the last one where we couldn't really get in behind him. Come on, come after my horses. You know you want to. Pandemic plus actually trying to do my job is interesting. <laughs> well, hopefully you've been keeping safe. I actually want to hit with one of these arrows so I can find out what I just bought. <laughs> FYA damage doesn't seem to be that much. Alright. Let's get back in there. They've just charged my host. Missed. And there you go. Come back here. Destic. There his head goes. Oh, there's that one. There he goes. God, I love this one. 324 damage to the horse. That's pretty impressive. 250 to the traitors. Yeah, I think we've got this. Cavalry once again winning today. I need to get more. I have an insatiable appetite for cavalry now. They're just so expensive. Got a source. Oh, they're charging my infantry. Don't do that. My infantry running? Oh, my archers are running. Alright, let's go save my archers from, you know, the inevitable death. Um... Charge! Oh, wasn't paying attention. Ah, oh, that hurt me. I don't want to be hurt. There we go, you're dead. Three, and four. Kill them all! Just go for it. Go nuts! Find the enemy, murder him where you find him. I think we've missed- yeah, we've missed- dismounted most of them. Is that it? Oh, that's it! We lost two people, who were they? Uh, lost a Harami and an, As an Asurai veteran caravan, but we have replacements. Sergei equals Viking, Suzates is Mongols, Empire, Rome, and Empire, I believe, I don't know about the others. Uh, Sturgia, or Sturgia is, yeah, is Vikings. Vlandians are Germans. So that whole setup. They've known for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, Ther Thermos is well, well before I started doing any of this. Vlandians is Normans? Oh. I thought they were German. Blamed a lot of things on them. Steadily building up the secondary army. Anybody low level? Watchmen, I don't need you. Uh, I'll keep the Imperial Arm Traders because, you know, suddenly having a massive force of arrows is very useful to have. I don't really want to up my party side just yet because I'm very happy with chasing down random groups. Virgin Arm Trader is an accuracy 53 with what? What do you do? Your bow is 70 versus the Imperial Arm Trader. Which is identical. Okay. 85, 50, 88, 70. 86? Ooh. But their missile speed is slightly higher, so the Sturgeons deal more damage up front. I'm obviously going to keep all the cavalry. Because I want more cavalry, if at all possible. Keep the caravan masters, because they're super useful. And I am still well over. Ah, oh, screw it. We'll deposit you at some random city. We find. But find is a heavy armor. No Germans really. And some more Midlands palfreys. That's not gonna make up for the fact that we're currently super slow at the moment. But hey, every little bit counts. Got a lot of us to take Mammoth. Yeah, you're still faction Northern Empire. I'm gonna try and chase you down. Back here. 
Got him. Okay. Now I can just finish one. Uh, what about the Asari? Oh, the Asari are quite clearly uh, the Middle Eastern, uh, Middle Eastern inspired. So, God, what is their official name? Mitch, the Crus the the people who ran the Crusades, except not the Christian side of the Crusades, the other side. Those people. That's who they are. Been a while since I've played Crusader King too, so I can't think of the name. Pop Tart. <laughs> Andrew, good to die. There's six of you. There are six of you. Where's my time? Uh, the Saracens? Uh, maybe. Mitch could tell me the name, but, you know, there's that. There's literally six of these traitors. Charge! Kill them all. Whoa! And I'm not sure we'll take prisoners. We'll think about it. I like actually having a uh, proper caravan. Whee! Surprise! Is that it? Are you dead? Yeah. No losses, no injuries. The Saracens, that makes more sense. That's right, are fairly Arabic slash Middle Eastern with strong Bedouin Saracen inspired defo, but there's also other groups. We'll take you as prisoners, because why not? And all your stuff. That's the more important bit. I don't really care about prisoners. Aside from the fact of, you know, keeping my own entirely secondary army that I have at my beck and call immediately. So that's always fun. We're going to probably cut in here for YouTube. We're still going to be playing. Don't worry. We've got at least another hour's worth of gameplay. But uh, to the YouTube people, thank you very much for watching. I've been Tarak. If you liked what you're seeing, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see a notification every single time I list one of these videos, press that little bell icon. Maybe join as a channel member, and I will see you all in the next episode.